Next time you go on a holiday, why not go and take note of the stories you hear? This eastern country you can see has thousands of real life stories about wars, kings, great leaders, and people that stories have been passed on to many around the globe. Our journey starts at the ancient port of Joppa, Israel's primary port in Old Testament times. It was here Jonah boarded a ship to run away from a command God had given him. It was not long after he found himself in the belly of a great fish, where he finally confessed, salvation is from the Lord. Here at Bathsheba, we hear of what's called a four-horned altar. It is believed a temple stood in the city that was dismantled during the reform of King Hezekiah. This story, although relatively new, is important. In 1917, the Battle of Bathsheba took place involving the Australian military's 4th Light Horse Brigade. The horses with their riders travelled across some 6 kilometres to overrun and capture the last remaining Ottoman trenches. It is said this battle played a critical part in breaking the Ottoman defensive line that stretched from Gaza along the Mediterranean shoreline. When I was 12, I saw a documentary put out on Moody Bible Institute, and it was talking about the city of Petra that had recently been rediscovered. The Bedouins knew about it, but the outside world had no idea. And it was during the war when planes flew over, they spotted this place. It was, for many years, it was regarded as the lost city. It's also called the Rose City, Petra, which means rock. And it was just an amazing concept. I thought, ah, oh, that links today's world with something that happened thousands of years ago. The fact that it was still there and could be found, and you could see it. The Garden of Gethsemane with the olive trees is probably right because the olive trees themselves are there and they're thousands of years old. You can see that with the trunks of, I mean, and I've got an olive tree in the, the back garden and it got knocked over in Cyclone Yasi, it's starting to shoot again. But of course, a lot of these shoots coming up together would bind together to make the trunk eventually, but over hundreds of years. The, the Mount of Olives is still, is still there and it overlooks the city. What stories will you come across in your travels? Share your stories. There's always a listening ear. All over the world, digital storytelling is being used as a community and cultural development tool, giving voice to individuals and groups who are not normally heard.